public image. Rihanna modeling haute couture fashion at the 2017 Met Gala in Manhattan, representing the theme Rikau Cubicum de Garin's Art of the In Between, known for her style and image. The evolution of Rihanna's music and fashion sense have been constantly followed by the media. In 2009, New York Magazine described Rihanna's early look as that of a cookie-cutter teen queen, noting she has the ability to shift looks dramatically and with such ease. Around the time of the release of her second studio album, A Girl Like Me, 2006, many critics felt that Rihanna's style, sound, and musical material were too similar to those of Bayonk. In an interview with Look Magazine, Rihanna spoke about comparisons to Bayonk. Bayonk is a great artist, and I feel honored to be mentioned in the same sentence, but we're different performers with different styles. She revealed during Oprah's next chapter that Diff Jam's pop princess blueprint made her feel claustrophobic during her early years with the label. According to Rihanna, I felt like they were giving me a blueprint. They had a brand. They had an idea of what they wanted me to be without figuring out who I was. With the release of her third album, Good Girl Gone Bad 2007, Rihanna dismissed her innocent image for an edgier look with a new hairstyle, which was inspired by Shirley Sperrin's Bob Cut in the science fiction thriller in Flux 2005. She followed the likes of recording artists Janet Jackson and Christina Aguilera, who also shed their innocent image for an edgier look and sound. Nicola Marco of High Snobity magazine wrote over the course of her now 10 year career has undergone one of the most significant aesthetic metamorphoses the world has ever seen. Her image and fashion has changed several times with different hairstyles since the release of her third album. She commented that as a child she used to watch her get dressed, and that her love and admiration for fashion started with her mom. When putting together her own wardrobe, she stated, It's become more about taking a risk. I always look for the most interesting silhouette or something that's a little off. Jess Cartner Morley of The Guardian wrote, that Rihanna's wardrobe is the most talked about, influential, and dissected in pop right now, and that whatever she wears is immediately reproduced on the high street, because it sells. Country singer Miranda Lambert admires Rihanna's fashion and style, stating, I don't necessarily get inspired by the whole no-bra thing, but I love that you never know what she's going to wear. It always keeps you guessing, which makes her sassy and interesting. In an interview with Alexa Chung during Vogue Festival 2015, Balmain designer Olivier Rousting praised Rihanna by stylistically comparing her to some of the biggest fashion icons in music history, such as Madonna, David Bowie, Michael Jackson, and Prince. Commenting on the cultural expectation for pop stars to be role models, Rihanna said became more of my job than I wanted it to be. But no, I just want to make music. That's it. In a May 2013 interview with MTV, the Vagina Monologues writer and feminist Eve Ensler said, I'm a huge Rihanna fan. I think she has a kind of agency over her sexuality, and she's open about her sexuality. She has enormous grace, and she's immensely talented, described as one of the sexiest women of her generation. She revealed that being a sex symbol is not a priority, and that it's definitely flattering, but also uncomfortable. Her appearance has landed her on the cover of magazines such as Maxim, FHM, Rolling Stone, and in December 2012, Rihanna became the first woman to be featured on the cover of GQ magazine's Men of the Year. Sir Rihanna made her first appearance at the Met Gala in 2007. She has made eight appearances in the years since, notably in 2015, for China, through the looking glass. Her goupe designed yellow dress garnered the most attention of the event, accruing a billion impressions on social media. The dress, which had taken two years to make before Rihanna came across it, became the subject of a documentary by Pietra Breckley, entitled Yellow is Forbidden, co-chaired the 2018 Heavenly Bodies, Fashion and the Catholic Imagination-themed event, wearing maize and margila. Legacy Rihanna is regarded by the media as a pop and fashion icon, particularly since her third studio album, Good Girl Gone Bad 2007. Nick Levine of Digital Spy described Good Girl Gone Bad as the closest thing to a thriller that is likely to produce. According to Rolling Stone, her single Umbrella and her eighth album, Anti, are regarded as among the 500 greatest songs of all time and 500 greatest albums of all time. 
respectively. Per single, we found Love was ranked by Billboard as the 24th biggest U.S. Billboard Hot 100 hit of all time, and her single work has been credited by a Billboard editor for bringing the dance hall genre to the forefront of mainstream American music. Music critic Jason Green of Pitchfork described Rihanna as the most influential singer of the past decade, writing a Rihanna voice has become an industry-wide idea, a creative property like the Korg synth or Lindrum, we crave the thrill that you can only get when a dozen or so good ideas manifest themselves in a single voice. For the past ten years, that voice has more or less been Rihanna's. Now that she's gleefully shredding it apart, she'll probably generate a whole new comet trail of Rihanna's. Inevitably, none of them will carry the charge, the glassy, cool, and subterranean heat of the real thing. Time magazine included Rihanna on its 100 Most Influential People in the World issue in 2012 and 2018, with Stella McCartney writing, She's one of the coolest, hottest, most talented, most liked, most listened to, most followed, most impressive artists at work today, but she does it in her own stride. She works hard, very hard. She gives to her fans, friends, and foundation not just herself but her energy and spirit. Rihanna was ranked one of the best-dressed women in 2018 by luxury fashion retailer Netta Porter. On June 2, 2014, Rihanna was presented with the Fashion Icon Lifetime Achievement Award from Council of Fashion Designers of America CFDA, a special prize reserved for an individual whose style has made a significant impact on popular culture on an international stage. In August 2018, Billboard ranked Rihanna as the 10th biggest Hot 100 artist of all time, as well as the 5th biggest female act of all time. Billboard also ranked Rihanna the top Hot 100 artist of the Earth's decade. In 2014, Time Magazine's pop stardom ranking metric ranked Rihanna second in history. Based on all-time chart performance and contemporary significance, Sarah Hanna has become a dominating figure on social media and internet streaming, ranking it no. One on Forbes' 2012 list of social networking superstars. In 2013, Rihanna was also named the most influential pop star in the United Kingdom by UK channel Music. Rihanna's work has directly influenced numerous artists such as Lord, Sam Smith, Little Mix, Rita Ora, Billie Eilish, Selena Gomez, Justin Bieber, Ellie Goulding, Kim Petras, Jenny from Blackpink, Marilyn Manson, Jessie J, SZA, Fifth Harmony, Camila Cabello, Demi Lovato, Alexandra Stan, Grimes, Sleater Kinney, Tegan and Sarah, Cover Drive, Cher Lloyd, Bed Gial, and Era Estrifiri Hannah has an honorary title of Ambassador for Culture and Youth in Barbados. On February 22, 2008, Former Barbados Prime Minister David Thompson launched the National Rihanna Day in their country. Although it is not a bank holiday, Barbadians celebrate it every year in honor of Rihanna. In February 2017, Rihanna was named Harvard University's Humanitarian of the Year by the Harvard Foundation. During Rihanna's third annual Diamond Ball, former U.S. President Barack Obama praised Rihanna's work and stated, become a powerful force in the fight to give people dignity. On September 20, 2018, Rihanna was appointed by the government of Barbados to be an ambassador extraordinary and plenipotentiary, with special duties of promoting education, tourism, and investment for the island. As of 2021, Rihanna is the world's wealthiest female musician with an estimated net worth of $1.70 billion. She was also listed among Ford's top 100 most powerful women of 2019. In 2020, she debuted on the Sunday Times Rich List, claiming third place on the list of Britain's richest musicianship, the 2020 NACP Image Awards, hosted by the ET. Rihanna accepted the President's Award from Derek Johnson. Johnson stated that Rihanna has not only enjoyed a groundbreaking career as an artist and musician, but has also distinguished herself as a stellar public servant. From her business achievements through Fenty to her tremendous record as an activist and philanthropist, Rihanna epitomizes the type of character, grace, and devotion to justice that we seek to highlight in our President's Award. Business Career Rihanna's first fragrance, Rubs La Fleur, was released in January 2011. According to Rolling Stone, Rubs La Fleur was a financial success and was expected to gross this million at retail by the end of Rihanna's second fragrance, Rebel, was released in February 2012. The promotional campaign for Rebel was shot by director Anthony Mandler, 
who also shot the promotional campaign for Rebsel Fleur in November 2012. Rihanna released her third fragrance, Neutery Hannah's fourth women's fragrance, titled Rogue, was released on September 14, 2013, followed by a male version entitled Rogue Men, which was released in March 30, 2015. It was announced that Rihanna is a co-owner with various other music artists in the music streaming service title. The service specializes in listless audio and high-definition music videos. Jay-Z acquired the parent company of Tidal, Aspiro, in the first quarter of 2015, including Bank and Jay-Z, 16 artist stakeholders such as Kenny West, Bank, Madonna, Chris Martin, Nicki Mina, and more co-owned Tidal with the majority owning a percentage equity stake. The challenge is to get everyone to respect music again, to recognize its value, stated Jay-Z on the release of Tidal in 2016. It was revealed that Rihanna would be releasing her music through her own label Westbury Road Entertainment, which was established in Ur Westbury Road as the name of her Barbados residence. The music would be distributed through Universal Music Group. Westbury Road Entertainment's artist roster includes Melissa Ford as the label's photographer, and Kazloon in November 2015. Rihanna and Benoit Demoe launched a beauty and stylist agency named Firm. The business, based in Los Angeles, was set up in order to assist artists in booking commercials, editorial shoots, at campaigns, and red carpet appearances. Rihanna stated, hair, makeup, and styling play an important role in creativity. I am very involved with that part of my process, so this agency was an organic thing for me to do. The roster includes Rihanna's makeup artist Mila Morales, wardrobe stylist Jason Bolden, hair stylist Patricia Morales, and Marsha Hamilton. In addition to from, Rihanna opened a photo agency called A Dog Ate My Homework, which represents photographers Eric Asla and Deborah Anderson main article. Fenty Fashion House. Fenty was a fashion brand by Rihanna under the luxury fashion group LVMH, which launched in May 2019. She was the first woman to create an original brand for LVMH and also the first woman of color to lead an LVMH brand. The house launched in a pop-up store on May 22, 2019, in Paris, before launching worldwide online on May 29 and included clothing, accessories, and footwear. It was the first line that LVM8 had launched since 1987. The fashion brand was described as groundbreaking, and in a statement regarding the launch, Rihanna said that she had been given a unique opportunity to develop a fashion house in the luxury sector with no artistic limits. Due to the impacts of the COVID-19 pandemic, in February 2021, Rihanna and LVMH decided to put on hold her Fenty fashion house and continue building on the Savage X Fenty lingerie line. Rihanna exclusively uses her surname for business endeavors not related to her music career so as not to conflate the two. In January 2019, Rihanna filed a lawsuit against her father, Ronald Fenty, over the use of the Fenty name for commercial purposes. The lawsuit alleges Rihanna's cosmetics brand, Fenty Beauty, was damaged commercially by her father's company, Fenty Entertainment, through misrepresentation of his company being affiliated with her. In September 2021, Rihanna dropped the lawsuit against her father main article, Fenty Beat Rihanna, in a promotional video for Fenty Beauty in Ur in 2017. Rihanna launched her critically acclaimed cosmetics company Fenty Beauty under Lovens Kendo Brands. Rihanna owns 50% of Fenty Beauty, According to Forbes, the partnership was worth $10 million and would see Rihanna release various beauty products. The first installment of Fenty Beauty was released on September 8, 2017, in stores and online, available in over 150 countries. It included an array of products, including foundations, headlighters, bronzers, blush compacts, lip glosses and blotting sheets, and was praised for its diverse range for all skin colors. Time magazine named Fenty Beauty as one of the 25 best inventions of 2017, citing the breadth of its range. In what has been dubbed the Fenty Effect, the brand revolutionized the way other cosmetic brands approach diversity in marketing and product formulation. Suddenly, beauty houses niche, establishment, and those in between began extending their shade ranges to accommodate a wider variety of skin tones. Forty Shades became the new standard main article. Savage X Fenty in 2018, 
Rihanna launched a lingerie brand named Savage X Fenty. The line was born from Rihanna's vision creating an inclusive brand. Products come in a variety of shades to match all skin tones and a range of sizes. She showcased the brand at the New York Fashion Week in September 2018. The brand has been positively reviewed by the public for including plus-size models in their promotion, though some fans argued there were not enough plus-size in September 2019. Rihanna promoted the brand in a show again during the New York Fashion Week held at the Barclays Center with modeling appearances from models Alex Wick, Bella Hadid, Cara Deleving, actress Laverne Cox, and musicians Normani and 21 Savage, and featured performances by DJ Cullet, Halsey, ASAP Ferg, Big Sean, Meepos, Fat Joe, Fabulous, and Tira Wack. The show premiered on Amazon Prime Video on September 20, 2019, as Savage X Fenty Show. The show was renewed for a third time in 2020, with appearances from musicians such as Travis Scott, Russella, Bad Bunny, LMI, Lizzo, Big Sean, Miguel, Roddy Rich, and Rico Nasty. This version also premiered on Amazon Prime Video on October 2, or in July 2020, Rihanna launched a skincare brand called Fenty Skin. Personal Life Rihanna and Rihanna owns a $14 million penthouse in Lower Manhattan. She also purchased a house in West London for £7 sterling million in June 2018 in order to be closer to her work with her FENTY fashion label. In December 2018, Rihanna put her Hollywood Hills mansion up for sale after a break in six months before. The mansion was reported to have sold for Irm Forbes began reporting on Rihanna's earnings and Rihanna began dating American singer Chris Brown in 2007. After their relationship ended in February 2009, she entered an on-again, off-again relationship with Canadian rapper Drake, which lasted from 2009 to 2016. During an interview with Rolling Stone in January 2013, Rihanna confirmed that she had rekindled her relationship with Brown, although he remained under probation for their 2009 domestic violence case. Their reunion followed persistent media speculation that occurred throughout 2012. In May 2013, Brown stated during an interview that he and Rihanna had broken up again. In 2017, Rihanna began dating Saudi businessman Hassan Jamil. They split in January and May 19, 2021. American rapper ASAP Rocky confirmed during an interview with GQ that he and Rihanna are currently in a relationship. On January 31, 2022, it was revealed that the couple were expecting their first child. On May 19, 2022, it was confirmed that Rihanna had given birth to a son in February 8, 2009. Rihanna's scheduled performance at the 51st Annual Grammy Awards was cancelled. Reports surfaced that her boyfriend at the time, Chris Brown, had physically assaulted her. He turned himself into the police and was booked on suspicion of making criminal threats. On March 5, 2009, Brown was charged with assault and making criminal threats. Due to a leaked photograph from the police department obtained, Mike Mskomwik revealed that Rihanna had sustained extensive visible injuration organization known as Stoparazzi proposed Rihanna's law, which, if enacted, would deter employees of law enforcement agencies from releasing photos or information that exploits crime victims. Phil Kaufman of reported the non-stop coverage of the Rihanna Brown case has brought up a number of issues regarding the privacy of alleged victims of domestic violence, including the decision by almost all major news outlets to divulge the identity of the victim. Mike is not typically done in domestic violence cases and discussed the controversial distribution of the leaked photograph. Rihanna was subpoenaed to testify during a preliminary hearing in Los Angeles on June 22, 2009. On June 22, 2009, Brown pleaded guilty to felony assault. Brown received five years of probation and was ordered to say 50 yards 46 m away from Rihanna unless at public events, which then would be reduced to 10 yards 9 m on September 2, 2009. Brown spoke about the domestic violence case in a pre-recorded Larry King Live interview, his first public interview about the matter. He was accompanied to the interview by his mother, Joyce Hawkins, and attorney Mark Burgos, as he discussed growing up in a household with his mother being repeatedly assaulted by his stepfather. Brown said of hearing details of his assault of Rihanna, I'm in shock because, first of all, 
That's not who I am as a person, and that's not who I promise I want to be. Discography Main articles, Rihanna albums discography, Rihanna singles discography, and list of songs recorded by Rihanna Masik of the Sun 2005 A Girl Like Me 2006 Good Girl Gone Bad 2007 Rated R 2009 Loud 2010 Talk That Talk 2011 Unapologetic 2012 Anti 2016 Selected Filmography See also Rihanna Vitagraphy Bring It On all or Nothing 2006 Battleship 2012 This Is The End 2013 Home 2015 Valerian and the City of a Thousand Planets 2017 Oceans 8 2018 Guava Island 2019 Tours Main article List of Rihanna live performances A headline Air Hannah Live in Concert 2006 Good Girl Gone Bad Tour Last Girl on Earth Tour Loud Tour 2011 Diamonds World Tour 2013 Anti World Tour 2016 TBA Worldwide Stadium Tour 2023 As a co-headline Earth Monster Tour with Eminem 2014 Promotional Tours of Girls Night Out 2008 a series of charity concerts to benefit the Believe Foundation 777 Tour 2012 in support of her seventh studio album, Unapologetic, 